Hi, I'm Ouija the God, but my friends just call me The Gamer because when it comes to video games, I'm pretty smart and knowledgeable, not to brag. Now, today we're going to be looking at this new video game that just came out called Cuphead. I don't really know much about this game, but as a gamer, I thought I would come in, experience this, and give commentary along the way so all of us can experience and grow together. Now, let us hop into the game here. Let's press the A button. Um, start the game. A new file looks pretty standard to me. It's kind of creepy and old, but I think we can get past it. Now, the game is opening up by showing me a book. I've always said for the longest time that this isn't really important. The story doesn't really matter because, you know, if you're opening a book by leading off a game, it's not going to be very fun. Um, I think it's very alienating because a lot of people don't really want to read a book. They just want to play the game. Uh, what a fine pickle you boys have gotten yourselves into. Um, so already I have an issue with the way the story is being presented in this game. Uh, it doesn't really make sense what he's saying right now. I don't know what the pickle could be. I don't know much of a, a problem or an issue. I was never taught that knowledge. And uh, I, that's already a big turnoff for a lot of people, I would imagine. So today we'll just be... Okay, let's, what's this? Okay, a tutorial. That's, um, you know, that's always a good place to start. Uh, hang on, let me... <sighs> Sorry, let me look at this. Okay, there we go. Hey, there we go. All right, we're doing it. <clears throat> um, let's see. Hold the crouch. Let me just... Hey, look at that. We're, you see, we're already on a, on a hot streak. Jump. Whoa. All right, I think I'm getting the hang of this game. Um... Wait a sec. Hang on a second here. Um... I'm sorry, what? Um... <clears throat> is this- <clears throat> is this a bug? Um... So it would appear here that, uh, when I have jumped, which is the information, the knowledge that the game has taught me this far, um, it's- it's not seeming to work when it comes to this, uh, platform. I- I think... that- hmm. I think that this, uh, platform is too high. And, I uh, I don't know what to do about... Well... Okay, maybe maybe there's something else back here that I've missed. I, I guess I can go back and look already. If a game already has backtracking this early, then it's a bad sign, in my opinion. Um, you should always be heading forward in a video game. You should never have to go backwards. That interrupts the flow of gameplay. Um, it alienates a lot of players. Um, is, there a, is there a secret ledge over here? It would appear there is not a secret ledge. Um... Let's let's go through and experience this one. Let's see, we can duck with the uh Ah, there we go. That's how you do that. Um We have some buttons. These buttons don't seem to do anything. Oh. Hold on. Okay, I have a pointer. Oh! I think I figured it out, don't worry. Here I go. Huh. I could have sworn this would have worked. In my opinion, this is a not very well-designed puzzle they have here. Um, I would have imagined that when the character points up, that means he can jump higher, but he cannot jump higher. It, it would appear that I am jumping the same height. So why even have the character point up in the first place? He can duck. Does that let me slide under the platform? No, it does not. Hmm. Are there any other buttons on this controller that I can use, maybe? I can point down. Can I go down through the platform? It would appear not. Can I go through the platform? I'm pointing forward. That means... Uh, perhaps there is a... A teleport mechanic in this game where I can uh, select a location to travel to. I don't... <clears throat> I'm... <coughs> oh, mm, okay. We're going to keep our cool here. Um, what are some of these other things? What was that? I don't know. I don't know how I did that. Um, whoa. Hold on. Sorry. Let me try that one more time. Hold on. Hmm. Now this is a very interesting thing. It would appear that when I tap the X button, uh, it's the square button, sorry. I'm, no, that's the square button. Yes, I apologize. Uh, wait. No, it's the square button, I, I'm sure. Yes, I'm short of it. Okay, I just wanted to make sure I was getting everything right here. Uh, when I tap the square button, I can do a little finger blast. 
Um, it reminds me of a Kamehameha. <laughs> hmm. It would appear I can duck and shoot. Wait a sec. Hold on, how do I... If I look up and shoot, perhaps I can shoot out an invisible platform and it will come for me? Hmm. This is like the Super Metroid game. I have not played that game, but I have friends who, who have played it. I can shoot down. Can I shoot in other directions? Perhaps if I if I hit the hit the platform, a secret ledge will come up and I can jump on it. Maybe if I shoot the floor, a platform will grow. Hmm. It seems to just be bouncing off, and I don't quite understand that. Perhaps I can jump and shoot a hidden platform and it will reveal itself to me? Oh! What? No. Haha. <laughs> Foolish me. I could have been holding down this button the whole time. It would appear that I have no ammo counter, which is kind of counterintuitive if you, if, uh, if you ask me. I think that will alienate a lot of players because uh, a lot of players would like to see their ammo. In the year 2017, you can't really find a game without an ammo counter. So I think this is... Uh, uh, alienating to a lot of players, definitely. Hmm. Now, if I was... I like to get in the, the mind of the developer. What would I have developed in this case? Um... The player drops in... Let's go back to the beginning and just walk through this step by step. The tutorial. Let's see. I can duck. And then, uh, by pressing the... Wait, by pressing the... By pre... Oh, sorry, yeah, it's the X button. By pressing the X button, I can jump up here. But would it... Hmm. It seems I can't get up there no matter what I try to do. Surely this is not... Well, now that I think about it, it could be the end of the game right here. This could be a, a, a symbolic representation that uh, y y when you start out your life, sometimes it can end abruptly, which... I think might be um, alienating to some people, but uh, I think it is also a message maybe of the developer that you can persevere by trying and trying again, <clears throat> maybe. Hmm. How do I... I'm going to jump at the platform again, and uh, perhaps I can find a, a hidden a hidden block. Uh, one time I've played Mario, and... Uh, well, Super Mario Maker, and I know that game has hidden blocks. Hmm. It's interesting how I am not... I'm running into it, and then I jump. And I can get on this one. So, hold on. In theory, if I do that... Hmm. It works for this one, where I jump up and I get on the platform, but there's no hidden ledges here. And uh, I'm not sure how to uh, counteract that. I think this will... Um alienate some of the player base who might find this puzzle a little too hard. Um, what do some of these other buttons do? We have the, uh, the arrow keys here on my controller on the left. Uh, it's not the joystick, but the arrow keys. Hmm, it looks like this just points up. Can I point up and point down with the, uh, the joystick? It would appear not. Hmm. I think, um, I think this might be alienating to some players because a lot of people, when they pick up a video game, they don't immediately want to be thrusted into these challenging puzzles. I'm, I'm just now learning the mechanics of the game. I was never taught the uh, the knowledge required uh, to, to understand and fully grasp the mechanics of the game. So it, it's kind of, you know, um, it's a little disappointing on the developer's part that they would expect a person to just, you know, get it as easily as they might have gotten it, someone who made the game. Um, to game developers out there, this is not a great way to start out your video game. When a lot of players struggle to get through the first puzzle, um, you need to gradually increase them by introducing mechanics to them once at a time to be able to conquer each step, um, building up to, you know, harder puzzles like this. I think I could have done this if I was taught more of the, uh, of the game, but now I feel pretty alienated, and, uh, I don't, I don't think I want to play this anymore because I don't really understand, uh, the game. Um, I think this game alienates people too much. I don't like Donald Trump, and Cuphead should have been a girl. Uh, I rate this game a 67 out of 100. Thank you for watching. This is Ouija the God, aka The Gamer. 
I will see you all in the next one.